Okay, so in today's video, it's just gonna be a quick update to a video that I produced on November 20th, 2020. And in that video, I showed you how to remove an IP address that was blocked from too many sign-in attempts from Synology's block list. So this is gonna be a quick, quick tutorial update just showing you how in DSM-7, Synology moved a few things around. If you're interested in the other video, I'll put a link to that video here up above. You can watch that video, the process hasn't changed, but Synology did move some things around in DSM-7 and that's what I wanna show you here. So in DSM-6, if you came over to the control panel, I showed you in that video that you needed to click on security and then go to the account settings. And under the account settings in DSM-6, there were a different set of options. You had the ability to set the threshold for the number of sign-in attempts within a certain time period, and then you also had the block list options down below. Now, as you can see here in DSM-7, that's not the case, but Synology just moved that information over to the protection tab. And this is the information you saw in DSM-6 under the account tab. Again, you can see the auto block enable here, the number of login attempts within the number of minutes, and then down here, here is the block list information. And so if there were IP addresses that were blocked, you would just come here and then simply they'd be listed here and then you can remove them. So like I said, that was just a quick video update. Not too long, just straight into the point. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of the other videos that I always list here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I want to thank you, as I do in every video, for using my Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. And if you'd like to support my channel in some other ways, I have links to Patreon and PayPal down in the video description, as well as you can also now buy me a coffee. The link is down below as well. Once again, my name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.